Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. On the Solana chart, we are still tracking here a potential A, B, C structure. If you followed the last few videos, you know that we expected the price to be in this C wave to the downside. Here, it's a five wave move. It's a very tortured five wave move. However, we can recognize the waves and we identified a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four. Yeah, and then I highlighted to you that we are probably now in the wave five, which would be the last wave of that cycle. And this is the wave we are going to zoom in. We expected another low and we expected price to get rejected in the resistance area. Now, so far it was a very weak B wave. So the wave five is an ABC structure because we're dealing here with a diagonal pattern. So this could have been an A wave, yeah, that was the plan that this was an A wave highlighted to you, this could be complete and we might have to prepare for a B wave retracement in three waves into resistance. It was very weak though. So I cannot rule out that it is developing a more complex B wave like this and then comes down. The key is with a B wave, it just has to be a three wave move, right? I mean, nothing stopping it to be this, this to be the A wave, this to be the B wave off the B wave and then one more wave up. So as long as price doesn't break above $21.60, that's still resistance. I expect it to be a C wave down, okay, to follow. Um, but again, it could come up again and then go down or goes down directly. You know, there's no, no way to really predict that. So far, we can assume that it has topped care or cautiously assume it has topped in resistance because um, it reacted quite strongly and we have a potential micro five wave move down. We briefly broke below the A wave low, but it needs a sustained break below that level to confirm that. So my primary scenario would be that the C wave is now unfolding and let's just identify the potential targets. So what we can do, we take the length of the A wave, go to the high of the B wave, and then I get projections, Fibonacci projections at $19 that would be certainly the first relevant target. Important is that we go below the low of the third wave, which we would be doing. The next projection, which is extended, would be $17.80. That is a Fibonacci projection that is in line with another Fib extension level. So there is um, the, uh, indicated with a dashed line. So there is some confluence there and below that level we've got 17. But yeah, I would pay attention to $19 and $17.80 if you're interested in the microstructure. Important is that it gives us a break below the $20 level to confirm because the unfolding of a C wave is really only confirmed if price breaks below the A wave low, okay? So until then, in, the, in an alternative interpretation, and bear in mind we're really doing dealing with micro counts here, it is possible that we get a higher B wave that would be a so-called flat structure. A flat structure is also an ABC structure Itself, so the B wave would just extend. So can you see that this is a, th a small three wave move? B waves are typically typically three wave moves. So I can make the case that this was an ABC. We reacted to resistance and are now coming down. But as long as the A wave is not broken, yeah, as long as we have broken below that level, a higher B wave is always possible. But as long as we stay below resistance, which are the boundaries for the B wave, that's okay. So a flat structure would be three waves in A of wave B, B wave down, and then the C wave up. So a corrective pattern, a larger three wave move. Yeah? That's always possible when the B wave was quite short. So be aware of that. But either way, another low is expected. Shows some weakness, yeah. Um, broke, you could even argue it broke out of this sort of, I know it's a weird triangle, but it broke out of this triangle, retested from below and is now heading down. But this $20 level here is so $20, $20 plus minus a few cents. It's the golden ratio of the larger cycle. So that's quite an important support level. That's why the price just doesn't want to break through, right? But yeah, this is sort of what I uh, look for at the moment. If we consider that Bitcoin Ethereum might do um, another E-wave, if you watch their videos, then it might very much be likely to get that higher B-wave. But these are just the two potentials. The resistance level is well documented and as long as price overall yeah, stays below $22.20, I assume we get another low deeper in the orange support area. Above $21.60, it's a first warning that things might change 
and above 22,020, I will have to count a low is already in place. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.